Now, what I want to do here is just kind of go over some ideas I, I, I do with surfaces to, to play around. And, and this, this green line here uh, that we see is, is a break line that was put in by um, one of our data engineers, Michael Stallings, kind of clean things up. And, and uh, it's pretty common, you know, you go point to point, kind of like PC to PC, and, and then um, that'll help clean things up and also add some more triangles here. Now, I don't worry about a little bit of a sawtooth in an area like this. Um, as a matter of fact, if you want to kind of look at, um, uh, at a quick look, um, let's kind of run over uh, that area here and just kind of see what we got. Um, now there's multiple surfaces because the, um, the job 628, so let's get rid of some of these things here. There we go. Um, you can see that that this is pretty consistent across here, and the breakover angles are decent, and um, it's it's performing the way we want it to as far as moving water. But uh, I, I I don't worry that a lot of people freak out over sawtooth contours. It, it doesn't kill me, especially when we're trying to do something like this. But now, if I go to click on this, you'll see I have uh, I can pick either the surface or the line string, which is my break line, and I don't want to pick that surface. So one of the tricks I use is just go to the advanced view filter settings. Let me get this in the frame here, and come down. Uh, to this one that we've got on and let's not make it selectable and say okay now I'm going to pick this and all it's going to do is pick that line string okay that that break line now what I'm going to do here is um, uh, kind of split these vertically and see where we are here let's see now another thing I do I'm going to hold down control and shift and move my mouse wheel and you see my vertical exaggeration look in the bottom left hand corner it's up to about three right now which is kind of where I want it all right now my next thing is to find out where the heck I am all right, looks like I'm right here yeah so there's that break line okay so that's what we've got that's what it's doing to the surface now just initially for fun um, what I want to do is uh, let's get rid of this break line I'm just going to do a control D and uh, that's going to delete that and you'll see it redrawing the surface and all the surfaces and you'll see how things change and if we look at this I've got a little bit bigger problem here and what I start to experience is what I refer to as the one-to-many relationship in in break lines and, and and surface so we have these are kind of matched up nice. In a perfect world, I want all my triangles the same size. And here we've got a big void. Now, you have to remember that each of these triangles is flat. So this may look good through here, but as soon as it gets around, we start having some issues with some pretty severe breakover angles. Let me do a control Z and undo that break line and put it back in there, redraw my surfaces, and see how it smooth things out and clean things up a little bit. I could also get a little bit more specific and start adding some points to this to make more points along here to try to densify it. I don't really need to, but in some cases you may want to do that. And um, the quickest way to do that is to uh, highlight this line and right click and go to the properties of it and uh, let's take a quick look here in my settings um, let's see let's run down to computations surface and we're at a 10 foot sampling distance okay um, which is what these intervals will be but let's say I want it every two feet now you'll see here in the properties we have an override segment the segment length uh, uh, pick box and I'm going to say yes and it's going to come back in and say okay um, when it decides it wants to and right now the segment's at 10 feet because that's what it was meant to be and right now I'll change it to 2 it's going to redraw the surface and add um, a, a node along that line every 2 feet did it help did it not um, I don't know it's, it's not that crazy we, we start to get um, you know a couple large uh, sections here. Do we add a break line between these two to try to smooth that up? Um, it's going to make a ridge there if we do that. So 
that could further complicate things. Um, I'm going to do a control Z and see what happens. Let's just watch this as it redraws and see if it helped. It's it's a little bit more confusing with all those uh, those nodes in there along that line, but it's either way it's still fine. So we could debate you know forever about gee is that better or worse? And you know to me this isn't bad, so I'm not going to let it bug me. Um, just a just a couple things to do um, when you mess with the surface to to kind of see how things look and how you want them to be. Again, these contours are set at a tenth of a foot, so they're they're, they're pretty detailed, and we've got some some good information here that um, uh, that's going to help me uh, to make this thing perform the way I want to, and and get these all important intersections and mergers of different roadways so they all move water in the direction we want them to go. And some great work from our engineer Michael and uh, um, you know we'll uh, we'll keep showing you some more fun stuff and uh, keep the comments coming. I appreciate it.